Hello channel friends, this is Dopey Copeland 38 and today I'm bringing you the last of the series of the new releases of knives from Kershaw. This is knife number four and this one's called the drone. It's at model 1960 and it's smaller than its uh, other buddies by a considerable amount. Let's go over some specs with you. The knife blade is two and three quarter inches. I'll open it up here. Here we go. Two and three quarter inches. The the closed length is four and one eighth inches. Now it has an overall length of six and seven eighths inches. And the weight is uh, 3.4 ounces. I had to cheat and go look at my cheat sheet here for a second. Now, this knife was designed by Tim Galen. It's kind of got a classic clip on it and a rather modern handle, but this has got a really neat handle on it. You see that? That reminds me of all the diamond bumpers that are out the old diamond plates. It's very, very nice handle and very comfortable. Give you a little close look of it. This one is definitely capable of uh, EDC. It's a pretty small knife. Like I said, it's got a uh, two and three quarter inch blade. Not nearly as uh, big as the other ones. Of course, the blade is 8CR 13 MOV stainless, so it means it's going to hold a real nice edge on it. I have to work with my lighting. It's pretty well dark outside, but I wanted to get this one out. We are outside. It's a really nice evening, so I decided to yeah, do the tabletop. I decided to bring it outside for y'all. There we go, the 1960. Of course, it's Kershaw. And it's got the diamond plate on the back. I don't know what they call it. I'm, I'm calling it diamond plate. Even though it's a standard nylon glass filled handle, it's very, very nice and it's very grippy. Now, one thing that the flipper does, it does provide a rest just like the other ones for your index finger. Now, this one does have a teeny bit of jimping that's built into the blade but I wouldn't call it jimping jimping because uh, it doesn't stick up enough to hardly feel you can feel it if you really press down otherwise you can't really feel it now this one compared to the other ones does have thumb studs both sides on your clip you can carry it a tip up or tip down it does have the hole for the uh, lanyard if you choose to have a lanyard or you can remove the clip with a lanyard for uh, EDC it's kind of a personal choice I might give me a lanyard I'm gonna put a lanyard on this one see how I like it now I'm gonna close it again if you kind of a nice look at it closed of course it is made in China which we've gone over in the other videos so I'm not gonna labor on it again. But what I do like about this, I'll show you all, bam! A lot of authority when that thing opens. I'm going to try and get you a nice close-up of the uh, blade. Very, very nice edge on that dude. Now, it didn't say if it's stonewashed, and I don't believe it is. I believe it's just strictly bead blasted. It's got a very nice texture on it very nice texture all completely give you a nice little look at it there kids are out roaming around now of course we gotta give it the uh, paper test because no knife's any good if you can't cut let's try it whoa razor blade 
try this side. Right through it. Piercing. No trouble at all. Extremely sharp and I haven't touched it. Just took it out of the package, opened it up, made sure it would uh, do its thing. That's me there, goofing around, making a mess. Okay, now, excellent on the paper test. Let's give this puppy the paracord test. Now, like I said, using half inch paracord. Wow, no trouble at all, no ends. Not a lot of fraying. Extremely sharp. Walked right through it. I'm going to give this one one more cut. This is the last of my paracord. I'm going to have to pick up some more. That was no effort at all. I know it, you can't really tell on the camera how much effort I'm putting into it, but that was nothing. I just leaned on it. Okay. A rating on the knife. A. A plus at 10 score on the paper. An obvious 10 on the paracord. For looks, I give it a full 10. Love that, I like that diamond plate look. That looks really snazzy. It's very, very comfortable. It is good for EDC. The thumb studs are there, but uh, that's purely a owner's choice. The finish on it is really, really nice. That that bead blast looks cool. Give you another close look at the Kershaw. On a scale of one to ten, this one's getting a ten. This uh, I might switch over and use this for EDC for a while. It's very, very comfortable. Not very big, and it's going to sit just deep enough in my pocket. It's going to rise up just a little bit, but not too bad. And this is a real nice clip. And if you notice, it's got the little up flip on it, so it's easy to get in and out. And unlike some of the other knives I've done, where it's got extremely rough texture, this one here won't be a problem with getting the knife in and out of your pocket. So this is another Kershaw quality. It was about 20 bucks on uh, Amazon. It was a really excellent deal. And this is W Copeland 38 saying I'll be back with some more for you.